My friend Chris writes historical novels, really successful um, historical novels. And how he does it is he, he spends about three or four months researching and before he even taps a, a, a character on the keyboard. But I'm far too impulsive for that. And what I tend to do is I write first and then research afterwards, which can be a bit wasteful sometimes. When I wrote a song from Dead Lips, I wrote an entire draft where I had um, Constable Helen Tozer as uh, Sergeant Breen's driver. And then I, afterwards, after I'd finished the draft, I um, looked around and I found a couple of women who'd served in the Met in the, in the um, at exactly the same time I was writing about. And I sort of explained the plot to her and they, you could see their faces drop and sort of uh, say, well, that wouldn't have happened. You know, women weren't allowed to drive police cars. So I had to go back and rewrite the whole uh, book from this point of view and find an excuse um, for Helen Tozer to be driving. Um, but I still, that's the way I do it. Um, and I've just written a, a new book, which isn't in that series. And uh, it's set in, in uh, the present. And I realise, being a law-abiding citizen, how little I know about the real workings of the police. So I just had a meeting with a guy called Graham Bartlett, who um, used to run the police here in Brighton and Hove. And he's a lovely man. And we sat down and had a coffee. coffee and I said, would you mind if I sent you some questions about the police? Um, and he said, no, no, go ahead. Um, so slightly nervously, I've just done exactly that. Um, I've sent him some of the key points from the book those that hinge around um, ranks and uh, things like the automatic number plate registration system, which you find this information on the internet, but it doesn't really tell you how it works. And then you write a plot where how it works becomes really important. And then you're thinking, well, what if it doesn't work like that? So I've just sent this email off. So um, my anxiety over the next few days waiting for him to respond will be whether I've got anything right at all.